What's up guys? Aaron with Quality Service Today. Maybe North Carolina. Don't forget to like, comment, share. Really appreciate the support. Today I'm going to go over a roughly brief description of how to size a well pump. Uh, sizing well pumps is really important for multiple reasons. Uh, the well pump does not make your pressure. The biggest misconception that a lot of people have, they go to box stores and they're like, oh well, there's a half horse there that I pulled out of my well. I'm going to put a one horse back because I want plenty of water pressure. It doesn't make your pressure. Your pressure tank makes your pressure. Uh, I got a video how to adjust your pressure tank and the pressure. Go watch that one. The well pump being if you put a one horsepower pump where a half horsepower needs to be or a three quarter where a half horse needs to be, you are going to do what you call short cycle. And is what happens is the water flows into the tank too quick, flips the switch, and it causes it to kick on and off, on and off, too, too much, too short period of time. It doesn't have that smooth run. The other thing it does is it'll run up your power bill. Uh, is, is it going to be a huge notice? No. But startup amps on a well pump can be as high as 30 amps. You pay for amps on your power bill, so if that pump's kicking on and off more, the higher your power bill is going to be. Uh, you want a smooth run, easy on, easy off. When it fills too quick, it short cycles, it'll burn the pump up, it'll break a wire. It's not a good thing if, you know, the other thing I'm going to explain real quick is gallons a minute. So I've got an older book here that I'm actually using today. Um, it's a grown false. Model number is 10S. 05-9, so that's a 10 gallon a minute, half horsepower. Really need to know what gallon a minute the well's producing at, and you need to know basically what this book is going to talk about. Uh, this goes from 5 to 14 gallons per minute. I did a rough description here of third versus half horsepower to give you a good scenario. I'm going to show you this. Hopefully you can see it. So that has the different model numbers and what gallon a minute they'll pump at what depth at certain shutoff pressures on each pump. Uh, each of these are 10 gallons a minute. It goes from third all the way to three horsepower. Typical residential pumps could be half, three quarter, and one. You do see some one and a half horse. Today I'm going to be going over the third and the half to kind of simplify this. So in this book, on the left-hand side, we have the pump model. It's a third horsepower. It's got the shutoff pressure. So this is your off PSI um, right here. So these blocks are actually grayed out in the book. So we have shutoff pressure, What's, what pressure your switch cuts off at. So if it's 4060, off is 60. You got your depth, what depth the pump is hung at. So you need to know what depth, how deep it is from, from ground level. Um, so the, these have some unrealistic numbers that are used in other applications. We're going to stick to typical residential. Uh, your, your typical residential is going to be a minimum of half horsepower. Uh, your your 5-gallon a minute is going to pump deeper than your 10-gallon a minute. So I'll get into this and then I'll explain the difference in gallons a minute on pumps. So this half horsepower, if we stick it at, we can't, we will pump three gallons a minute at 120 foot. So it's 120 foot deep and my switch shuts off at 60, I will pump three gallons a minute is what it can move. I can't hang it at 140 foot. It's not going to move that water. There again, you need the pump sizing guide for the model you have. So if you're buying it from a box store, I got a huge disappointment for you. I was in a box store one day and their horse and a half pump would only hang at 250 foot. It's quality of pumps, how they're made, what goes into them. The box store pumps are not gonna work like what I'm explaining here hardly. I, I mean, you look up the, the sizing chart for them. They don't work that way. So 
three gallons a minute at 120 foot. Now, if we did reduce our shut off pressures, typical switches are 30, 50, and 40, 60, on, off, on, off. If we reduce our pressure to a 30, 50, we can move up from 120 to 140 foot at four gallons a minute. As you see, as this gets shallower, if we if we had an off pressure at 20, which you're not gonna, I mean you, but hypothetically you could hang that at 260 foot deep at three and a half gallons a minute. But that just goes to show how this increases. The shallower we go and the less pressure, we can hang it deeper. So for instance, the third horsepower, 10 gallon a minute pump, at 60 PSI, you can only hang it six, uh, 60 foot deep, four gallons a minute. That's where I was talking about in the other video, if you have a low gallon a minute well, if you size the pump properly, if you have a four gallon a minute well, and you size the pump at your off pressure and your depth, you're never going to over pump that well because it can only move as much water as what's coming into it. So, to give you an example, again, depth, off pressure. So, if we move, so we've got a half horsepower pump, a 10 gallon a minute pump, will only hang at 120 foot and move three gallons a minute. If we go to a five gallon a minute pump, a five gallon a minute, this is a five SO5, so it's a half horsepower, five gallon a minute. You can hang that one at 60 PSI. This one's 10 gallons a minute. You can hang a five gallon a minute at 220 foot at 1.3 gallons a minute. Like I said, so lower gallon a minute on the pump that the pump can move, it's going to be a bigger pump, will actually move, you can hang them deeper. Pumps are like transmission. You need to know is it a 10 gallon a minute, is it a 5 gallon a minute? So in this pump book, a horse and a half at five gallon a minute, we can hang 700 foot at 1.7 gallons a minute. A 10 gallon a minute horse and a half pump, we can only hang at 400 foot at five gallons a minute. You can look these you can look these sizing charts up on any manufacturer's website most of the time. This is going to be from a drilling supply, Grown False Pumps. They're excellent pumps. They have several different models. This is your pretty standard model. We put in what you call 3200 series. Um, I can grab that book and kind of show you the difference in, in it's a Schaefer 3200 series pump. We can hang the pumps we install way deeper. Uh, they have a five-year warranty out of the box through the manufacturer on that pump. Excellent stainless steel pump. So these Schaefer, it's made by Franklin Electric, got a Franklin Electric motor, excellent pump. Uh, these Schaefer's, I went ahead and print, printed off the, the depth charts on them, 3200 series. So this half horsepower Grum Foss at 60 PSI will only go to 120 foot at three gallons a minute. This half horsepower at 60 gallon a minute, I'm looking at 180 foot. That's a, uh, that's a 10 gallon a minute pump. This is 10 gallon a minute pump. Five gallon a minute pump, we can pump it at 60 PSI down to 200 foot and so on. Oh, Schaefer 3200 series pumps, excellent pumps. Just what we use, they're a little more universal. They'll pump the deeper depth. Got a great warranty. Uh, one thing I was going to tell you all is I went and looked it up. Box store pump, 12 gallon a minute pump. 
one horsepower, 125 foot deep. You're wasting your money. Don't don't get a box store. Everything in box stores is cheap. That's that's how you size a well pump. If you got any questions? Hit me up. Shoot me a question. I'm more than happy to help you out. Uh, you can check out our website, getqualityservicetoday.com, if you're interested in booking an appointment or having one of our awesome technicians come out and help you out.